Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Nut channel. Today we're going to be talking about golf clubs. So when it comes to the classic question that you see on Facebook forms galore, um, I'm a 24 handicap. Uh, what golf clubs do I need? Or I'm going for a fitting next week, I'm a 24 handicap, and what golf clubs do I need to look at? Well, the question is a bit loaded, but that's very simple as well. And of course, the main answers that you get back is the fact, well, if you're a 24 handicap, you need game improvement irons. Well, that's a little bit simplistic. Now, I have lost count. I've got in my hand here, I've got a trusty blade, the old school blade. I've also over here got a player's distance iron. And I've also got here a game improvement iron. So what you would see, all three of the categories, and I know there's micro categories in between, and yeah, the player's cavity and stuff like that. But mainly that's the kind of idea you're looking for. The blade is gonna be the better players, although all that really means is the individuals that's able to hit the middle quite frequently or doesn't deviate too much from the middle. That's how it should be looked at. And then when it comes to game improvement, you could also argue that the fact that because the super game improvement iron has got a much, much bigger head, much bigger sole. The center of gravity on this golf club is a lot further back and a lot lower than the blade. So not only is it gonna be more helpful when it comes to off center hits, yes, because the center of gravity is, gravity is further away, but you're also gonna get a little bit more help from off center hits anyway, because these things have got variable face thickness and much more springy face because they're hollow a lot of the time. When it comes to blades, they're a slab of metal. And the one other thing that a game improvement iron will do over a blade is it will give you more ball speed springy face and because of that center of gravity it will also launch it higher like for like loft if you need help from strike as in a case you hit it all over the face then yes a game improvement iron will work if you're someone and i have seen i don't know how many examples of this and it's mainly trades people, it's mainly sports people, it's just mainly with people that have got a very good hand-to-eye coordination. But I've seen this often, that they've got speed and they can hit the middle fairly well. It's not bad whatsoever. It's just that they have a weird control of this. Face angle. Now, that was apart from being slightly low on the face, fairly middle, path was one degree, Face was not. And you'll see people, they will do this all the time. They'll come in, they've got decent speed. It's their swing. They strike the middle within reason fairly frequently. It's just a case of, unfortunately, they're, they're, they've got no concept, no control of this. But a game improvement, iron, will not help that. They're already doing the difficult bit of managing to get a half decent strike on the face. So if they can do that, they don't need the help that a game improvement iron, because a game improvement iron is not gonna fix a face which is seven degrees open. Only lessons can do that. And because they've got speed, they don't need the extra help that a game improvement iron will give you when it comes to that springy face and extra ball speed. And because they've got speed, they don't need the help with launch because they've got speed. And so they don't need the game improvement iron. What they need is lessons and they could quite easily go into something more like this. I'm not saying they can go to a blade, but they can go to, they've got a myriad of different choices that they could choose from rather than just, equal, just straight away thinking, oh, I'm 24 handicap, I need to go this way. Well, actually that would make it worse because when you go to a game improvement iron, that will just go faster off the face. Now that was 23 yards off line. If I'd have hit it with this thing, seven open, Obviously we're gonna get more spring from the face and stuff like that. So it's just gonna go faster. 111 miles an hour that was because face open with a blade. And this one would be X amount of miles an hour faster. The problem is that means it's just gonna carry on that four degrees offline and then with much more offline added to it for longer. And so that 23 is now not 23, it's even more. So you actually could get worse with a game improvement iron. Now you've got the different people. I say we'll go, we'll keep with the game improvement iron. You've got the different people. When it comes to that 24 handicap, you've got that per person there that has got very, very good control over hand to eye. Um, but th th when it comes to that's their issue. The, the problem is not hitting target. That's a lesson thing. You fix that. The handicap tumbles, absolutely tumbles. The other reason why you've got when it comes to requiring game improvement irons, it's not necessarily through strike requirements. It's through help. 
And so when you dumb down speed and you haven't got as fast uh, a clubhead speed, you need the help that you're gonna get from these things to get the golf ball launching because you haven't got the speed that you need to use a blade, even though blades, generally speaking, have got much more loft than a game improvement iron. So this one here was launching at 20 degrees, gone up 27 yards in the air, and then descending at 43, which is so much less, but I'm only swinging at 77 miles an hour. The efficiency was 1.40, because that's what these things will give you. It will give you as much bang for your buck as you can possibly get, it will help launch as much as you possibly can. Now, there's like nearly six degrees of loft between these two, and they're both seven irons. So it's a little bit, again, there is a different thing for different people. So it's mainly this. If we do a summarize of it, when it comes to a golf club, whether it be a blade or whether it be a game improvement iron, you need to know what you need. Do you need forgiveness? If that forgiveness is yes, because you don't hit the middle, game improvement iron all day long. Yes, that will give you that. If you're someone who don't swing very fast and you need as much help from springy faces and launch as you can, game improvement irons are gonna give you that. If you're someone who hits the middle of the face, has got plenty of speed, so you don't need crank lofts, so you need, you've got plenty of height because of your speed, you hit the middle, but you don't hit the world because of your lesson issues, as in a case you need lessons rather than golf clubs, I would distinctly say that you are able to potentially have the blade or a very close version of maybe player's cavity or something like that, because you don't need the help from forgiveness. You've got the speed, so you don't need the help of launch because you've got the speed to get launch. What you need is lessons. And then you can choose from what you want, but I would always go down the more of a player's or player's cavity route because you don't need the help that one of these things will give you. Now that is a basic overview of the different reasons why you need it. So you, just because you are a handicap of scratch, it doesn't mean that straight away you're gonna go to a blade because you can have a really good face delivery and path delivery, a very consistent club head dynamics delivery, but miss the middle quite a bit. Now, I've seen that quite a bit. And to be fair, if anything, I am in slightly more into that category that I have got decent control of face and path, very good control of face and path, but my strike sometimes wanders. And it wanders more when I'm not warmed up, but that's natural anyway. So I could, rather than playing blades, and I play blade through choice because I just like the look of them, I like the sound of them, and I just like them. Um, but I could possibly get a fraction more consistent help from something in the player's cavity realm, which still has uh, fairly traditional lofts, not a huge amount of help, but it still has more help than what a blade does. So, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, thumbs up. YouTube likes it so do I. Down there's the subscribe button. If you could do that, it'd be great for the channel. Helps me make more content when it comes to either club compares, reviews, or something like that. And while you're down there, there's a little bell icon that's a notification bell. If you click that one, that'll notify you next time I upload another video. So, hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.